Whenever you're doing a geometry problem, it's usually a good idea to draw a diagram. In this case, we're looking at a square that's cut into two rectangles, so we should draw a square and cut it into two rectangles. We don't know the side length of the square, so let's let that be x. And of course, all sides are the same length, so each of those is x. Now, if we look at the rectangles that it's cut into, we know that each of them has the same perimeter, so we know that each of them has to be the same size. That means that each of these widths of the little rectangles is going to be x over 2. I'm going to draw all these in, even though we won't need all of them. And of course, the line that cuts it in half also has length x. So what I want to do now is I want to look at just one of the rectangles. Let's look at the bottom one. We know that the length of this rectangle is x, and the width is going to be x over 2. And we're told that the perimeter of the rectangle is 36. Well, the perimeter is just the sum of the sides. So we know that x plus x halves plus another x plus another x halves has to equal 36. But if we combine like terms, x halves plus x halves is x, plus another x and another x gives us 3x equals 36. And if we divide by 3, that tells us that x equals 12. But x was the side length of the square, and we want the area of the square. We know the area of a square is the side length squared. In this case, that's 12 squared, which is 144, and that is answer choice D.